Welcome to our tutorial on the Boolean Remove operation. We're going to pick up where we left off in our previous tutorial. Let's right-click and delete Add 1. Delete. Uncheck Delete Aggregated Elements and click OK. Now Part Bodies 2 and 3 each have its own unique branch in the specification tree. Let's activate the Boolean operation Remove. Under Remove, select Part Body 3. Under From, select Part Body 2. The After field is already populated with Pocket 3. That means our new feature will appear after Pocket 3. Click OK. Here is our resulting solid. Let's Control Z out of this. Let's activate the Remove function again. And now let's remove part body 2 from part body 3. Click OK. Once again, here is our combined solid. Let's Control Z out of this. We're going to right click and hide body 3. Now let's right click and define part body as an in work object. Let's create a sketch on the XY plane now. Activate the ellipse command. Exit the sketch. Now let's activate the pad tool. Check mirrored extent. Let's drag limit 1 up just a little. Click OK. Now let's deselect everything and see what happens when I try to use the Boolean Remove operation again. In the Remove field, I'll select Part Body 2. The From field is populated with the main part body. Pad 4 appears in the After field. Thus, our new feature will appear after Pad 4 or right here. Click OK. OK, let's Control Z out of this. Activate the Remove command again. Let's try to remove the part body this time. Watch what happens. We get an error message. Part body cannot be used to perform the Boolean operation. Please select another operation. The removal tool can't be the main part body. Let's click OK. Go to our specification tree. We'll collapse body 3. Insert body. Now let's grab Pad 4 and drag it to Body 4. Activate the Boolean Remove operation again. Now I'm able to select this solid. In the From field, I'll select this solid. Click OK. This time we were able to perform the remove. If you look in our specification tree, you'll see that body 4 has moved under body 2. Here is our remove feature, remove.1. And this concludes our tutorial on the Boolean operation remove.